guys and happy Tuesday. Yesterday I did a work from home day. Welcome to another studio vlog. I should start off with. <gasps> the camera slipped. This is not gonna work. There we go, I think I sorted it out. But yeah, basically yesterday I had a day working from home uh, because I'm gonna be working at the weekend. So I've got a live stream with my patrons on Sunday. So I decided to take yesterday off. Um, and I also, did some work from home and it was really really nice because I was just kind of sat on the sofa and I was really really comfy and I created some new Christmas and New Year nail decals so I did this cute I don't think you'll be able to see but I did this cute pudding one these cute candy cane ginger and spice ones and I literally cannot wait to make these my favorite one is these cute little snowmen actually the candy cane ginger and spice ones and these little snowmen are my favorite and then I've also got new uh, new year ones um which I'm gonna put on my own nails uh, for new year so super super excited for those so I'm gonna get to work on those today I might as well while I'm in the floor of it and I've designed them uh, make them today and the reason I do that is because sometimes if I make a design to make it a later date I kind of forget about it and then it doesn't end up getting done I don't know if anyone else is like this so while I'm in the floor and I'm still really like excited about this new product I've decided today I'm going to dedicate the day to making those new nail decals and making a big batch of them I also have a few stickers that I've sold out so I need to restock all the stickers and stuff I'm actually toying with the idea of purchasing a third Cricut machine so that I can produce stickers a lot quicker so I've got three machines on the go rather than just the two um, even four machines would be good uh, but we'll have to see how the business looks for next week so i do it week by week like how much of the budget i've got left of the business and stuff um, and a lot of the budget is went on new nail decals this week and some new pin hoops that i've sold out in my store pin banners that i sell so yeah a lot to do uh this week i've got a lot to do especially considering it's tuesday but i feel kind of good because the designs are done for me and i also think they'll be really really good as planner stickers as well also i'm feeling a little christmasy in this outfit i don't know why i think it's these little bobble things where did I get this from a lot of you guys like to know where my jumpers are from and this is from George Asda it looks really Christmassy this would make the perfect like Christmas day sweater I love it but yeah first of all I am going to get to work on replying to my emails and stuff I've still got my blue blocking glasses on and yeah then we'll make some nail key nail keels nail decals let's go shall we Songs. I'm currently um, just watching out. Matt Diavella and printing out the first sample lot then, of I the I stickers or nail decals should have been not stickers and, and seen what they turned out like but I've made a mistake I better pause this one while I can do your one second results output um, and I found this but I have made a mistake. I basically ordered the wrong decal paper, so I ordered white ones. I've just been chopping a bunch of sold out stickers. Um, so I'm having to return them and I've just ordered some new ones online. So they'll be coming. So I won't be able to make a big batch of them, but I did want to print some out and see what they turned out like. I've also slightly changed the template and you get tons of decals on this. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. I'm just having a look now. I haven't actually done a print for these yet, but these are looking pretty good. And I've also done these thumb ones because I thought they would be cute to offer like, you know, like a decal that goes on your full thumb or nail. So really, really cute. I'm gonna spray these and cut them and see how they turn out like i also have been experimenting with different print settings um and these have turned out way too faded but instead of wa uh, wasting it i probably list these as seconds on my store because it seems like a little bit of a waste so this is what color they're meant to be so as you can see this one is a totally different color it's slightly lighter than the other one so i'll probably still print and cut them and use them and yeah that's the result. 
Okay, so I've finished designing all four of the new decals. So I've got this cute little fossil, the snowman one, which looks super, super cute. I don't know if you can see this camera's needs adjusting maybe. There we go, hopefully you can see that. So that's Frosty's snowman. Then I've got the candy cane ones of Ginger and Spice. Then I've got this cute pudding, pu um, pudding is pudding basically is a Christmas pudding and then these cute little Christmas puddings and some little hollies and then I've got a new year set as well coming out uh, for happy new year and I thought it'd be really nice with like dark glittery nails or gold nails and then these on it's got like little champagnes and little hats and stuff on little fireworks and yeah they turned out really really cute I'm happy with how they turned out it's currently just sat here waiting to go out for tea but I think I'm gonna call it a day I've only done half a day today um, and I don't know why but I'm really lacking motivation and I think it's because my holiday is approaching and I am so ready for a bit of relaxation hi is that for me yeah thank you thank you very much brilliant time Goodbye. Yeah, I just cannot wait to go on holiday and yeah, I just feel like it's well overdue. I'm excited for the break, uh, the mental break from it all. And then it'll be right back into the swing of things and Christmas. So yeah, <laughs> I think just there's so much going on that my mind is just, I don't know, just not motivated. So I'm going to call it a day. I've done half a day. I've only worked about four and a half hours a day, but I have got work to do when I get at home. So I'm probably going to get my laptop out and I'm probably going to do some bits and pieces on my laptop. Like I've got a Patreon um, exclusive sketch going up. So I'm going to show them all these decals before anyone else and show them the sketches behind the decals and stuff. And yeah, get that sorted. So I'll see you tomorrow bright and early maybe if i get up early which i haven't been doing lately okay love you bye just went through the other uh the other studio well, i was having such trouble saying that and i cut out the little decals so this is what they look like all cut out so we've got the new year one then we have the little pudding one then we have the snowman one and then we have the candy ones now these um printed really weird on cricket the cut out really strangely don't know what happened there so uh but they're still usable obviously i won't sell these but these are still usable for me to try out so i'm gonna get a little thing of water i've also ordered this little like scraper thing and this stamp stamper this is like a nail stamp you can get from amazon and you basically press on like the stamp oh you press on the stamp basically it's just come loose um so I'm gonna, I thought that would be easier to slide off the paper and then securely press it. You don't need this. This is just for me experimenting purposes. Also, next door, who've just opened a vegan waxing, come on in, Mike. Have give me some little free freebies. How cute is that? They smell really good. The vegan wax melts, and they're called Smellificent, and they've uh, opened next door. How can I help you? Have we got any more rolls of stickers yeah we should have some in um some boxes underneath the packing oh yeah i put them away <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna paint some nails white i haven't got um any uv like nail polish i've just got white ones i'll show you what i've got so i've just got some barium gelish nail polish 
which I'm just going to put a base coat on these little false nails. Uh, that from Korea or somewhere. Then I've got a UV top coat because I do find UV top coats last longer. I've actually picked off all of the old, it won't come off, the spider stickers. This is still well and truly on from like over a week ago now. Uh, but I've been trying to peel it off because I want to change them up a bit and I want to add some uh, more spiders to them and stuff because that was just my experiment. So, but I do find the UV top coats work really well but then you need a UV lamp to go with it. But plain top coats work as well but they just don't last as long as uh, UV ones. So I'm going to get a little bit of water and try this out. gosh look what I've done with the heat gun I try to dry it and it's like curled the nails I guess I'm not supposed to do that okay so then you need to if you hate it you need to go deep you need to either go deep I mean this is real look you gotta get the poison out I did. I think I'm going to order one of these nail wheels off Amazon so that they're already painted white and I can just kind of test out my samples really easily. I'm going to cut out one of these and give it a go and see what it looks like. I think these are slightly dry. I'm so impatient. I've ordered some of those wheels to come off Amazon. Um, so hopefully that should come in time. I, everyone's like, no, I want to be an entrepreneur like you. I'm like, I truly started at six. Truly. Lemonade. Shuffling snow, washing cars, like truly at six. I'm 37 years in, and I'm, I actually, it's funny, I brought up today, which I don't too often, which is like, man. The word rapidly when it came out of your mouth is the tell. It's like poker. It's when I know that you're in trouble. You need to slow it down. I even think about that, I'll fail. I just gotta do what I can, and then when I'm 98, 92, 113. Now I have actually seen people, if you have a bit of the stencil, um, I have seen people paint white underneath so it doesn't become translucent. So say you want it on a dark background. Well, this is curled around. Say you want to put the stencils on a dark background. I've seen people paint the underneath of the, like, the decals white and then press it onto the nails, which could be a good solution. But I've accidentally curled this. It does work though. I haven't put it on very well, but <laughs> you get my gist. It does work well. Yeah, it looks pretty cute, am I right? Please excuse the little dodgy, <laughs> dodgy bit, but <gasps> cute. So I finished messing around with the nails. It's really hard to polish um, the nails and do it on these little sticks. So I can't wait for the nail wheel to come. But this is basically how they turned out. They turned out really cute. So here is Gingy and Spice. So maybe I will keep that on because it turned out pretty cute in the end, even though I didn't position it right. But the the trick is definitely dry it out. Uh, don't apply it straight from the water. Just dab it a little bit and get rid of the excess moisture. Then this is the Happy New Year nails. They look really cute. Uh, these ones I think are my favourite ones. I can't wait to get this. I'm thinking glittery blue on my nails and then one white nail with the little snowman on. It looks really cute. And you could even paint the back of it white on the little snowman head uh, on the little snowman heads if you wanted to put it on blue glittery nails. 
and then we've got these Christmas pudding ones which also turned out really really cute look at these oh they're adorable I love experimenting with new products but yeah that's basically what I've been up to just trying out new nail decals Ooh, you can see better from this angle from this angle from this angle I've just quickly retouched up my nail and added some little spiders and stuff onto them so I've got this little spider here hang on little spider here did some little stars put another spider one on this one and a little chubby spider on this one. Oh, sorry, I'm not swearing at you, but look how cute they are. They look adorable. Okay, so I've just been to Slimming World and did my weekly group, a pound off. Well done me, also stocked up on some um, of the hi-fi bar things you can buy and the chocolate and stuff, you can get these stocked up on some of them um, and yeah, I didn't get a lot done today, I don't know what it was I obviously I tried out the nail decals and I made this pastel witch sticker planner sticker set and that was pretty much it, so I've turned my pastel witch sticker set into like a planner sticker sheet and I printed them out um, and I cut half of them and then I had to leave to go here uh, and I still have my Inktober to do so not a very productive day today I don't know what's going on but my head I keep procrastinating like crazy and I can't get my head into it so uh, oh everyone's looking at me because they're leaving leaving group and I'm sat talking to a camera in my car so I'm gonna go and get my tea and I'm probably gonna snuggle up and do an Inktober while I watch some Florida vlogs so see you in a little bit also I've lost an earring I had like a third earring in like this one I don't know where it's gone but anyway see you in a little bit It is the next morning. I'm just at home. Last night I got in and I did my Inktober and yeah, it was a little cute bat illustration and I think it's the final week of Inktober. I can't believe it's the final week and I haven't yet missed a day. The first time ever that I haven't missed a day in Inktober. Um, I did a little bat illustration. I think the next week is going to be cute animal themed. So I can do little cute animals on Procreate. I think that would be really, really cute as like a theme because I haven't really drawn, I mean I draw cute stuff all the time but I mean I haven't really drawn really cute, overly cutesy things I don't know what I'm trying to say, I have totally drew them but yeah the reason my hair looks so gross is because I've just rolled out of bed and put it in a bubble because I'm going to get my hair done what are you doing Daisy? Daisy what are you doing? Are you having a great time? Come on then! Come on then, come! <laughs> what? But anyway, yeah, I'm off to get my um, hair done because look at those roots. I've tried to be, I've tried to grow it because being blonde has damaged my hair. I've got really fine, thin hair. I wear clipping extensions. I used to have taping extensions, but I wear clippings to give it a bit of thickness and a bit of length. But yeah, I've just left it as long as possible. Um, so yeah. Heading off to get my hair done and doing a half a day in the studio and then I'll be going straight to the studio from here um, from getting my hair done. So let's go shall we? So he says he's going to go over there for the Tuesday day and see what it's like. Otherwise it will be York, the college in York. Do you like the look of this? <laughs> I literally sitting in these chairs are the most unflattering thing ever. I look like that in a silly me. I don't know why, but hairdressers, like when you got the hairdressers, they always style the 
hair, like not how you would style it, so please excuse that. I do feel like it's a little dark and not as blonde as I would have liked, but she did say, say it would lighten over time, so fingers crossed. I just don't feel like I look blonde anymore. Never mind. Anyway, now I've still got two hours left on my packing, so I decided to go into town and get a coffee and maybe do my Inktober or something while I'm in town because I've still got the Inktober to do. I also need to get my key cut so I'm going to try and find somewhere that's a key cut in place so let's go. Also here's Morrison's. I used to work here. I worked here for around seven years while I was a student at college and university. My first job. I kind of miss it in a way. Keys cut here. Three for ten, but where do I put it? Where do I go? Let's try and find it. Oh, this shop reminds me so much of my student days. So the reason I'm getting a key cut is for Mike. So he has a set of keys for when I'm in Florida. I found it, it's over here. So Melanie, who used to work at Morrison's um, with me, she used to work on checkout, she served me today. So it was nice to see another familiar face. I'm not vlogging me, I'm hi. Uh, because it's embarrassing. This is a really small town, so it's kind of embarrassing to vlog, vlog myself, because everyone kind of knows everyone here. So now there's even Costa to go to for a coffee. There's a Greg's, but I don't want to go there. Oh, I want to go see in town if there's any smaller independent coffee shops. So let's go and have a look. <laughs> nice trip in town to be honest and it's really really nice just waiting for my keys to get cut and I sat down and I illustrated for so long and it was just so nice and relaxing and chilled out I loved it and I spent so long on the illustration and just enjoyed my coffee it was really really good uh, the only thing that wasn't good was when I tried to take you guys into a gallery shop and I th wasn't really gonna share this to be honest, because I like to remain positive and upbeat. Uh, since working in a customer service based job since I was 16, since I was able to work, and I've worked multiple jobs, I had two jobs at one point and even three at one point, um, I think I kind of, I, I learned a lot about customer service and experience and things like that. So basically I went to go into this gallery shop and I was gonna vlog in there, um, but he had his back up for some reason straight away um, about me not vlogging and that is completely fair enough if you do not want to have anyone vlogging on you on in your private business that's absolutely fine but you he could have approached it so much better than what he did but I actually didn't dare purchase them because I didn't want to go back to the till and have to deal with him and I was the only one in the start at this moment when he was talking to me the way he was talking to me but I just want to put the point across that customer service is so important and he would have got quite a few sales off me that day if his customer service skills had been a little bit better so I always used to get taught 
in customer service that the customer is always right uh, they are paying for your product at the end of the day now there is fine lines with this you don't want to be scammed or ripped off or anything like that you have to be wary of those type of customers just to remember that the customer are helping you and your business grow and thrive and supporting you uh, so try and help them out where you can rather than be aggressive and kind of rude try and be more like oh sorry there is no filming in there please could you put your camera away and I would have explained my camera's not on so don't worry about that of course I'll put my camera away um, and then he's, he could have been like oh brilliant that's no problem is there anything else I can help you with and I'm all for giving people the benefit of the doubt that he was having a bad day I probably would go in there again um, and I would purchase again but it has kind of left a sour taste in my mouth if any of you guys have had a bad customer service experience let me know how it made you feel and it's kind of like one of those things where you can sit down and really think about it and think right in my business what do I want to offer other people how would I like to be treated as a customer to this business I guess what I'm trying to say is if you're running a business thinking of running an Etsy business or a brick and mortar store or cafe or whatever customer service is key because if you get one poor experience it can have a very negative spread on effect because that person is more likely to remember the negative experience than to remember all the positive experiences there uh, I hope you didn't mind me sharing this experience I just think it's really really helpful to understand the value and the importance of customer service and i just wanted to chat with you about it because it really is important and um, but yeah i hope you don't mind me having that little ramble anyway now i'm gonna try out this trusty new blue snowball microphone because i've got a patreon podcast to record and then if i've got time because i'm only doing half a day today i would like to uh cut out some more pastel witch stickers i'll show you what i've been doing so this is what i've been doing so a little pastel witch sticker set so they are planner size because I used to have, uh, I used to have, I still do have, um, the Pastel Witch uh, sticker packs in and someone messaged saying that they would really like to see Pastel Witch planner stickers so that it fits comfortably in the planners. So that's exactly what I'm doing but I've only managed to get this many cut out so far so I've still got lots and lots to cut out so I need to get to work on these. <laughs> and happy friday in the background you can probably hear some cricket machines going off because i am actually cutting the pastel witch sticker sets at the minute emily in the studio over there hello <laughs> and um today is going to be a day of making pastel witch stickers and i'm going to make a lot of nail decals today because we sold out again i can't believe it um i'm actually thinking of trying to find um, a manufacturer for the decals to professionally make them uh, but this won't be till after christmas so i'm going to hand make them all by uh for myself for now and then after Christmas, I'm gonna see if I can source a manufacturer because if they sell at this rate, I'm so overwhelmed and grateful for you guys. But if they sell at this rate, I don't think I can keep on top of the um, yeah the hand making of it. Even if Mike and Emily and stuff help me do it, it's kind of like yeah, it's hard to keep on top of. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I've just purchased a little desk ring light because I'm doing a live stream with my patrons this Sunday. So I'm going to do a little unboxing and have a look at it. I just got this off Amazon if anyone's wondering where it was from. Oh, so this must be for a phone mount, but I hope I can still... Oh yeah, so you can put your phone like in the centre, but I don't think I'll need that. Got different modes on it too. It is around £25 for this. <gasps> it works! Cool. Oh, so I can dim it, light it. Oh, I look like a ghost! Oh, I can change it to blue, white, orange. Oh, it's hurting my eyeballs. What are you doing, Catherine? I'm spraying all my mildew calluses. <laughs> so this is the current situation. This <laughs> is not even all of it. We are spraying all the nail decals. I've currently got the thingy my jiggy on. First mask got the window open. And I'm surrounded by nail decals. And I still have about seven more to spray but I want to get stocked up before Christmas so I definitely think I might have to outsource these in the future because this yeah. is taking a very long time yes exactly Emily exactly all these people wrong strategy or the it is it or, or I'm gonna shove this in their faces or, or I'm gonna get even with them is that what I tend to find happens is so you get there you did uh, I, let's say I became an author to, to, to prove to my mom and dad that they, they underestimated me. Well, you get there and then you don't feel what you expected to feel. So I've just finished chopping all of the nail decals. Well, not all of them, but I've made like a huge wedge of like nail decal packs and stuff. I've got the lights off because it's now quite late. It's a really miserable rainy night outside. Um, and I'm still in the studio but I have to go soon because I'm going to my friend's house but basically I've just made like these huge wads of um, papers and things oh, papers and things what am I, I can't even talk about and I've just made a huge wad of the backing cards for the nail decals and I'm just in the middle of cutting the nail decals and the new ones but I've restocked well I'm restocking these and so yeah I've just literally been listening to a podcast um, from Tom Bill you from his YouTube channel uh, called how to use stillness to achieve greatness and I've just been chopping away all my backing cards and I'm gonna be in, in on Sunday uh, because I'm doing a patreon live stream on Sunday and yeah I'm gonna do like a Halloween one uh, I also uploaded a Inktober that I did in the cafe we went to while we had dinner I had a jacket potato and then I came back I made a huge batch as you've seen of the nail decals um, um, and now I'm super super tired it is currently half past six I am probably going to leave here at seven because I'm going to my friend's house because she's just uh, moved house so we're having like a girly meeting so I'm going to go around to my friends and have a catch up and a cup of tea I can't wait just for some relaxing time and a catch up with my beautiful friends I can't wait for that so yeah I'm going to end the studio vlog here guys I hope you enjoyed this week's studio vlog my lipstick's all off now because it's late in the day I've actually took my clip in extensions out because they were irritating me and they don't blend very well with this hair nightmare anyway i will see you very very soon thank you so so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed the video and i will oh, see you in the next one thank you so much for being here i love you so freaking much all right then i love you goodbye